Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can tell, I am feeling better. Um, the last video was, of course, when I got the news on a Friday. Today is Wednesday, so over the weekend. I was gonna say over the weekend, like it was the hardest weekend of my life, but <clears throat> it wasn't because I thought about like when I found out my mom had breast cancer and then when my we thought my dad was gonna die like that was definitely harder than this and something that really changed my perspective of everything first of all I rewatched the first video and I specifically said like God make it clear as day that now is not the right time so you gotta be careful what you pray about because I think that was definitely like this is a clear sign like it's not the right time and then I'm in a, with Div Inc, uh, accelerator for my Business Connect Pro. And we had to go through an assignment and it was basically what happened, how did it make you feel, and what are alternatives, alternatives. And so, of course, I wrote down, you know, my bad news. And how did it make me feel? I wrote down sad, like a failure, overwhelmed, lost mad angry and a less value and what are at least two alternatives to your perspective and i wrote down get another opinion find the beauty in what i already have of course we have maverick and enjoy life and be present now so that uh, exercise really changed my perspective on things of course i didn't do this until monday but the weekend was definitely like just randomly crying <laughs> Chris got me this necklace that says mom so when he gave it to me I was crying like um, definitely a lot of tears and I did feel sad um, over the weekend but I feel like I needed that time to kind of like process things and, and and really explore my emotions for those couple of days and then now I am kind of like on the other side of my emotions I think <laughs> Who knows like I still see things and I get sad so um, yeah but one thing I did do is I did a lot of research and just like alternatives because of course the doctor was like basically the only the only um, solution to your problem is donor eggs like clear as day that's what they told you like this is what you have this is your diagnosis and you're gonna have donor eggs and so I just want to explore other options and try other things. Oh, and then this weekend, like, of course, all these emotions and I'm like second guessing everything. Like, am I having hot flashes? Am I having mood swings? I wouldn't normally react like this, but this is menopause. So that psychological um, process is definitely taxing on you because I've always been cold in nature, but now I'm like, am I sweating because I'm thinking about hot flashes or I'm really having hot flashes? Like these are the things that goes through the mind. And then if I do get hot at night, I'm waking up and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm having a panic attack. So yeah, it's, it's just all over the place. So if any other lady is female out there is going through this, like I understand like the mind is so powerful and it will have you. Like, I don't know if it's if it's actually a change or it's just my mind. Anyways, I digress. Again, my emotions go back and forth. I'm, I'm really triggered when people ask me, when are you going, like, where Maverick needs a brother or a sister and all of that stuff. So navigating that, it, it makes me sad, of course, when people ask me those questions. And I've always been very careful. Even before we had Maverick, I was like, why do people always insist on asking, like, when are you gonna have a baby? Like, it's not that easy. So even now it's like, but people don't think of it in that aspect. Like they don't know until they know. So I am definitely stay prayed up. <laughs> um, now staying positive, I definitely went through that like cycle of what if, but you can't stay in that state and you can't just focus on the negative because my alternative is no matter what, I still have Maverick and I still need to be present for him and I still need to like 
uh, not worry about what I don't have but what I do have. So we shall continue this journey and I will keep you updated. Thank you for watching.